So this, my friends, is the new Amazon Echo Dot third generation. It's brilliant. We're going to tell you all about it and show you how much better it is than the previous version, the second generation. We're even going to show you how to set it up as a pair of stereo speakers and also teach you things like controlling the lights and even setting this thing up as a home intercom system. So stick around and make sure you hit the red button and subscribe. There's going to be lots more, guys. So my friends, this is the latest incarnation in Amazon series, the Echo Dot. This is the third generation, and we're going to put it to its test against the second generation and also tell you everything that you need to know. But the first thing that you're going to notice is it's very, very different to its predecessor. Now, this is what I call black, but Amazon call charcoal fabric. They also do it in what I call white, but they call it sandstone fabric, and also what I call grey, but they call it heather fabric. So whatever colour you want to call it, guys, there's no doubting that the new generation is far better than the older model. It's slightly bigger and it weighs a little bit more too, but that will come into its own when we look at the sound quality a little bit later. Now, it seems to be popular with all of these little devices that they come in this fabric, and it does feel quality and it feels like a premium product. And I think it was a very, very good move losing the Amazon logo because I just don't think people need to see that. So at the rear of the device, you've got a 3.5 millimeter audio out and also a DC power. That's different to the original one, which has got USB power. So the new model has the same four buttons on top, but this time it has a microphone behind each one, which should mean hopefully when you're giving the commands, you're heard better, certainly over the louder music. Right, so let's hopefully try and give you some type of demonstration as to how the sound's different between the second generation and the third. And this is where the third generation really does come into its own, and it's definitely, in my opinion, worthwhile going for. Just check this out. So for me, there's clear difference between the two and it's about 20 or 30% in terms of the measurement from the decibel reader. So one of the brilliant things about these smart devices is that they do so much more than just be a speaker. So you Turn can the control the environment. So here I'm just giving simple instructions and it is telling my lights to change color. Turn the lights red. Okay. As you can see, very, very simple. Turn the lights green. Okay. So this is the Philips Hue system Turn which I'm using, and all you need to do is link your Philips Hue okay. account to your Amazon Alexa account, and that will be very, very simple to do on the phone itself or your iPad. Just go to the Alexa app and then go to the Smart Home Skills, search for Philips Hue. and it will find it and then click enable. Now what you'll have to do is quickly link your account. Guys, don't worry too much about following this because I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in a completely separate standalone video. But once you've got those accounts enabled, you've got all your lights coming up. And as you can see, yes, my individual lights are called Bono, Donald Trump, Freddy, and Harry Kane. Please don't judge me, guys. Right, on to stereo speakers. Now, if you've got two of these devices, you can do a number of things. Here's my devices here and here, and I'm going to set these now up as stereo speakers. Now, they don't need to be the same device. What I mean by that is it doesn't need to be two Echo Dots. You could have the Echo Plus and one Echo Dot, and you could link them up. But two of the same ones gives you an equal sound coming from the two. So just select one of the devices from the device list within the app, and then click set up as a pair of stereo speakers. When you go to next, it will then find two of the speakers that are online and you can select those. So I've got one there called lounge and then the other one called upstairs. I selected both of them and then I'm gonna click next. You now need to choose which one will be the right speaker and which one will be the left speaker. So just make sure you've got them in the right way round and then you'll be able to select that and then it's gonna connect and configure the speakers. It will take probably a minute or two, maybe three, and both the lights will come on and then eventually you'll get a notification to say that it's done and then you get great sound like this.
Okay, so there's one more feature in this video that I want to tell you about, and that is the brilliant intercom system. And again, this works with multiple devices, and again, it doesn't have to be exactly the same one. So I've got a device downstairs, there's another device upstairs, and this is a demonstration of how it works. So drop in on upstairs. Hello upstairs. This is the lounge calling. Hello upstairs. This is the lounge calling. This can be particularly good if you want to get somebody out of bed. This can be particularly good if you want to get somebody out of bed. Yes, okay. I'm getting up. Yes, okay. I'm getting up. So I really love that intercom feature. I think it's brilliant. So folks, that's it for this video. We've covered quite a bit and I'm gonna be doing more individual videos going into the details of setting up those individual functions. So if that's gonna be helpful for you, make sure you hit the red button and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. If you want any of these Amazon devices, check out the links in the description. I'll have full links to the US and the UK there for you. Thanks.